Just ready for this very, very, very important game for these two teams. The drafts have been revealed and Lumi was seeing it. That terror blade that started to be touched upon by a few teams at this land. And of course now, coming into this one, up against the side of EG is the Silar TV. We've seen it before in the groups. It did well. It was absolutely terrifying. Can he do it again, Lumi? Can he do it again? Do you have faith in the Silar TV? I have faith on the Silar TV, but I feel like the EG team fight might just be a little bit too strong. It's not just the Chronosphere, it's a tombstone with the Chronosphere. The zombie will generate. There's a lot of things that you have to go through to get to the back line of PPD, who is going to be pinging at you with the Death Ward. You have great synergy between the traps and the zombie and the Death Ward again. I don't know, I feel like LGD, if they're going to win this game, they have to split open the map, because the team fight of EG is just too strong. And of course, when something's being turned around a little bit here, the fact that Zeus TA matchup this time going to be vice versa. Yeah, we got, we got it the other way around. We saw how well TA did do against the Zeus. Uh, and now, well, with this kind of straight up comparison, we'll be able to see if it was the player or if it is the hero matchup that does just favor the TA. To be fair, I think maybe he had quite a bit of help. Remember the Nice Doctor as well as the Witch Doctor roaming in. And with that said, you know, you could do the same thing. They could help the TA to set up those kills. But I think that's where having an ROTK Earthshaker would be more helpful than an Elder Titan to, to defend against those ganks. Elder Titan the clap did help out once, I think. But a Fissure is just much easier to land. You come off from a... a farther distance so I expect ROTK to need to help out the Zeus and he will help out the Zeus yes, RTZTA, one of the, uh, the old classics and Samael on that Ember Spirit a hero that the, the overall's kind of fallen off over a period since the Frankfurt Major but Ember in your eyes still certainly a place for him he's would you say he's still a very very strong core to have in the right situation I think so I mean oh. Oh, that dot Arteezy. Arteezy. He's not got refraction again here. He's got a magic wand, so he's got a little bit extra regen as well. Although, uh, DBC seems like he doesn't care. Hiding around, maybe doing a little bit more. And I think Zeus is fairly out of mana, so that, that should be needed. Oh, meanwhile, this is the weakness of the TB. He is squishy early on. And if you throw an undying, Adam, with a Witch Doctor and an Ember Spirit, you're going to get those kills. Also, in all of these games, Asylo has been doing very well. Uh, what, RTZ? Maybe a lot of trouble. So much aggression on this mid. <laughs> this this is actually there. casually farming under the enemy tower. Yes, Silo has been doing well, but he's doing well with absolute free farm. He never really had, you know, offensive trialing thrown against him. In fact, he just teleports to the bottom lane and just does a lane switch. It's not much easier though. Universe with the lane advantage. He's got the poor man Shio. He's coming in here throwing down time locks. I'll be ready to trade hits for sure with this terribly. And he's doing exactly that. And with the undying there, this is Silo dying a second time. The Terrorblade, we said, I asked you if you had faith and it doesn't matter if you did or you didn't. It is not, this is not the plan for a Terrorblade dying two times within the first two minutes. That silo has got to be careful. Uh oh, ROTK thought he trapped one away. Now he's kind of pincer. He's going to get the rune though. Nice. Got the fast fingers. Maybe the old man ain't so old. Being out the young in here on the, the rune fight. But the big thing is that uh, EG lane is just dominating every single lane. Yeah. You can argue that mid lane is a wash, but again, once TA gets a couple of levels on the Zeus, or once they get to level 5, suddenly the lane to me is TA favorite. Uh, we'll, we'll see how, how well LGD can kind of compose themselves and, and, and keep the, the stability even with Salah falling uh, a couple of times already very early on into the game. They will decide to... And they're going to send him back up to the top lane. So he's, he's got DDC hanging around there now. Maybe that was one of the issues, the fact that we saw DDC very heavily focused on the mid lane. And perhaps it would have been a little bit more useful to have him up top. Oh, okay. Oh, he will just catch on to him. Yeah. Didn't quite dodge it. That was uh, somewhat unlucky for him. The, the big Satikri threw a Hadouken and actually that took away his flame guard. And then they're like, okay, let's go. Arteezy, still okay. That does have the bottle and the magic wand charges again. So, you know, the apart from the kills against the Terra Blade, uh oh, might actually get a little bit more kills. Nah, he's just going for a bit of a tickle down to the Earthshaker. But one thing we can be sure of is that Universe is finding that farm and 
the CS kind of difference between the two sides, uh, uh, as you can see from the individuals, is pretty significant. You've got three cores pretty much farming perfectly on the side of EG, on the side of LGD. It's only really the Zeus that's being able to keep up the pace here. Yep. The other thing that we do see from the terror play strategy when Silo runs it is that he does level up Conjurer Image when he has absolute free farm. And what he does is, after level 6 or 7, he ducks into a jungle. Yeah. And then you give your Night Stalker or your Venge a little bit of room to farm. But if you look at his skill build this game, he's forced to level up Reflections. Um, oh no, he's actually just no, he's foregoing it. No, no, this, this is the kind of classic Silo. It will be it does. the second and the third. The problem is he's dying because he's never have Reflections. When you're up against three heroes running at you, Reflections is very helpful. And in fact, he might wish he had refresh Oh, where's the help for Sila? Where is the help? Sila just left to learn the supports. They just weren't there. And I'm on DDC, uncharacteristically just not around to help Sila, and you just can't leave a Terra Blade on his own. Honestly, what I don't is think, going on here, Lumi? I don't think it would help that much anyways if they're there. Maybe they'll throw a magic missile and maybe there's a slow, but they will just dive Sylar. That's where, you know, not having the muffling waveform is that bad. And again, I, I just question the, the choice of the skill build. He normally goes for this build, but I just don't think this is the game to do it. Uh, this is LGD having to really be careful now. Losing the, the hero that they're really relying on, on to carry. We saw how, how important it is for Sylar to get that good start. Right. And, and how well he can do when he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Mid lane, RTZ still 28 to 4, 25 to 3, even though earlier on we saw a lot of regression going on to him and PPD going for a little bit of a weird wrap around, but he's got the video restoration. Be able to walk it off. Gotta be careful diving a tower against Zeus. Yeah. Damage output is quite scary. So you know, like the previous two games, the one thing that you can always count on in this early to mid game is that you gotta ravish the back you up. OGD doesn't really have you know, a big ultimate that could turn a fight if uh, EG starts how, to How close is Universe to Krono? Because I can see him with Krono just going straight up oh, because he's, he's got it now. Krono, yeah. He has got it now as Sila. And critically, he doesn't have Sunder because of the, the yeah. fact that he died three times. So if EG finds a good goal, uh, they can. Witch Dogs is there already as well. If Sila comes forward here, now Sila may have come a little bit too forward. Yeah, they'll go straight in. Krono's been dropped. So this is going to be Sila falling for the fourth time. As EG again just destroying the Terror Blade. Okay. RTZ, this might be the first casualty here for the side of EG. LGD moving in, they've got the fish in, they'll find themselves a kill on the board. They will find that kill onto TA, but still Sila. It's not going great for him. No, it's not. No, it's not. Also, I, I thought the Void pick was going to be such a backbreaker against a lot of these heroes. I mean, what what is your best tool against uh, Chronosphere? I guess you swap out the person that's being hammered on and you lose your venge, but still, that's just not the not the best way to deal with the situation. And Universe again is having, to me, one of the the better performance for Void. He's amazingly farmed. In fact, he's leading the farm, and he's gonna get that early Vlads, the early blink, the early Aghanims, and it's gonna get real hard for LGD. Maybe he's not having a great game, and of course Silo is having a, just a terrible game. I mean, maybe he's doing alright. He's still pretty much on par with TA's net worth. It's, That's fair. The Zeus is pretty much the glimmering hope here for LGD at this point, but... I guess just compared to the, the maybe game that we just exited from... Yeah, he's, he's not winning the lane as, hard, uh, as yeah. he did in, in game one, yeah. Uh, that is for sure. It is a very, uh, sorry, game two. I think we saw from LGD. Game three certainly off to a rocky start here for. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying really hard to find a bright spot for LGD, and it seems like EG is just coasting all the way right now. And top lane as well, try lane of EG moving in. They're like, hey, Silo is smoked up. Again. They'll look for DDC here. They'll prop out the car. Samal the Gouyus forward. There's your chase, holding him near. Oh, he is very fast. Uh, got the chase down with the tick damage. The slide of fist has been now skilled by Samal, and he'll jump in to finish it off. Now mid lane, EG. Maybe something get more Chronosphere up in six seconds. Now you can check back down and, and the final haste room for themselves bottom but still five to one. Eight minutes in, top three on the, the last hits all on the side of EG and Sila. Just sitting there in the jungle, staying in the trees. 
He actually just has nowhere, uh, no room to farm. At the, at the moment, he's just, he's just conjuring images, getting the illusions out, and trying to creep get hit with those in the wall. Oh, the jungle stack being stolen here by Arteezy. They're going to try to make it go on. Imagine Mr. Wood oh, the hit. Arteezy stole a few bananas in this time, and he tries to seal the stack, and he's going to get punished for it. The Silas is down. Can he get himself out? He's got refraction. Oh, that's going to be the gank. He's a smooth dealer, that man, and Trey in with the remnants. On to MMY, Samael. He's got the mana hit for a change if needed. He'll put the flame guard, and here we go. MMY to fall. Another kill on the tally of EG. And two just coming, they've got the traps on. Uh -oh. They've got the traps on, uh, onto maybe he's going to walk into the wall. Oh, will get taken down, but again, yeah. the chains. Can he get himself out in time here? Can they get it? Yes, he will. Fortunately, no mana, I believe, on the PPD to yeah, he's get the cast off. Had to, had to kind of heal up his team. Yep. Normally you look to those spots like that and you're like, okay, at least Silas farming, but not really. Spear is just putting pressure on him. Pretty much far farming the best he has the whole game, but yeah. that, that's not saying much. He's like, guys, I got two CS, you know? He, don't, he doesn't literally have two CS, so it just feels like that. So I guess you just hope that RTK gets an early blink and just team fight your way back into the game, but he's only got 400 gold. <laughs> Again, I'm just thinking in the perspective of LGD and trying to see how, how, yeah, yeah. yeah, how, how can they make the comeback. It's just they don't have the tools to do it. Well, Silar is about to get crowned on. Oh yeah, Silar. He, and he knows he's again just hanging back, keeping an illusion in lane. And we'll look to get losses for that. Actually moving forward with the main hero. Mid lane, maybe in DDC hanging around. RTK will block off Fear. Fear is alone. Actually going to force the double TPs here from the EGs. They're going to look to turn. RTK going to go for the TP and he'll make it. All right, that's a smart move from RTK. If, let's say, the Radiant team, uh, or sorry, if the Dire team could maybe pressure the mid tower, maybe a bot tower bit, then they could get something out of the trade. Uh, but not sure whether LGD can. And of course, EG is just, this is their game uh, at this moment right now. Uh, and, and for the next couple of moments, 5,000 gold lead in about 10 minutes of gameplay. Or 3,000, sorry. It is 5,000 and 3,000 EXP. The monitors in front of us are, uh, or at least in front of me is... Yeah, it's a little bit. But you have to look at it at a very specific angle. Or at least, or maybe I'm just getting old. I think you're getting old, man. Okay, fair enough. Old man, man. I got a blink on now, our tours TA. Yep. So, and we, we, we saw the effectiveness of blink. And blink TA against a, a terror blade that does not have a much at all. It doesn't matter that you don't have a oh. Destiny, you're still going to get it. Oh, it's easy though, TPing in. <laughs> There's a lot of heroes around here who blink out, and he needs to be very careful. Here's LTD already supplied, now the back of 3G, so now EG looking stronger, they can jump in. RTK will put the Echo Sound, doesn't do a lot at all. That is the Echo Sound down, oh, no, the Chrono! Oh, Silo is less than getting caught in the Chrono, it is enough, and EG, can they capitalize on this? Oh, okay. he's getting blown up though, LTD is going to kill. DDC, oh, no, oh. it changed command time. It will be able to cancel the TP on the Night Stalker, and they will find the return goes to one for one, but LGD moving in, looking for more, they'll take down the Tombstone. Can they find something more from the side of EG? Fisher, Mumar, TK, blocking off there, Samel, still taking the trees, he's been found out. They'll get the second kill, two for one, and now LGD looking to make a bit of a comeback off after a pretty atrocious start there. That PPDB slip push, though. Middle lane, look at him go. Uh, Actually, he didn't really do anything. He didn't have the level 6, so... Nor the team If he had the death one and could have attended, maybe that would have yeah. been a different story. But LGD, they come out on top then, uh, and they keep Silo alive. They did this it. time, Silo does not fall. The, the swap was huge. I see what you did there. Nicely done. The fissure was an absolute break, and uh, ROTK surviving if I miss. He is going to be well on the way to his Blink Dagger. So LG finding a bright spot. Silar again, you know, surviving a fight and gets a little bit of farm time. They also got the tower, so great stuff here for LGD. Uh, mid lane. Smell. Does have the backup of our tour and PPD. But LGD are, are very much waiting the rings, wings to see if anyone does overextend. I'm in behind that tier one. Just looking at that team fight in retrospect, I, I felt like maybe EG thought they could have the Witch Doctor into the fight, but they didn't have it. Because if you look at the, without the Witch Doctor, where's really the damage? We're going to keep in mind that Arteezy was the first one to drop, and without Arteezy and the Witch Doctor, they oh, really lack oh, PPD there, just burning the smoke. It was there, hiding behind the trees, and yep. ah, it's, it's over there for LGD. They, they can't really do anything off the back of that anymore. Silar trying to front it. Now, oh. won't be able to jump. 
Seven to three for EG. Still very much done with the lead. Again, still all three cores on top of the three cores of LGD. But LGD proving that they can still take a fight. ROTK, some cheeky stuff. On the side. Uh, they're actually maybe thinking about. Just a lot of tactical movements around the map for LGD. That team fight gave them a sign of life. Oh, but it's just not enough. We don't mess around. Universe, he wants the revenge dead. Honestly, and then why? That's fine. Goodbye. That's fine. Some mail? This is gonna be a hard kill. Uh, they want the silence, but they get the flame guard out. And, yeah, that's enough. Oh, he's got the blink. Ah, oh, TZ, how yellow does he want to go? Not yellow enough. Silence will be fine. On the other hand, RTK needing to be a bit careful with which way he decides to go. He's coming forward towards the mid lane. We'll get the Fisher block off nicely onto PPD. And PPD will get Tombstone extinguished. And now Universe coming in. He doesn't have the corner, but indeed the Tombstone will right touch from our tour. They'll find one there with RTK. They give themselves a double kill for the TA. Universe move all the time. Well, they've got the slow from the trap. It will be a third kill for EG. LGD is a team of four casters, and that's where the Tombstone gets really good if he's not focused. In a perfect placement. Sure, you got the Witch Doctor, but EG happy to make that trade and continue to press for more. I think it's more helpful for the team if ROTK just disappears from the map and farm. He, I think they need some team fight way to get themselves back in the game. And Blink Dagger is essentially the only way. Now, how's ROTK doing on the Blink? Oh, He's got a thousand gold, okay. so not too good. I mean, Silo is getting some room, but it takes a while for Terrorblade to reach that critical mask uh, before you could really do anything. Yesterday, I believe Loda got a Dragon Lance. That's not the Silar way. Silar generally just go for Manta, Scotty, Butterfly, your standard agility, you know, carry items. And he is very far away from all of that. Yeah, but he's certainly played. We did see him obviously go down very, very quickly, more frequently at the start, about what, the four deaths, all happening within the first six minutes. But since that point, he's, you know, hasn't been caught out again. So this is a good sign for LGD. Sila, as you said, being able to find the space. Still is behind EG, but arguably not not so far behind that it's 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 too drastic. He can catch up, and we, we know Sila's farm. Yeah, it can be done at a very good rate. Uh, you can see a fish being dropped. Looks like it was just to stop anyone from jumping in onto, onto maybe. Yeah, he is technically catching up, but we got to keep in mind that he's doing so uh, on the backs of his team being a 5v4. Um, and because of that, you know, the Shaker is also not getting farm. Zeus's farm is somewhat limited. Zeus getting the uh, Aether, or sorry, the, the, the nice rune that he just picked yeah, up. Yeah, the Arcane rune. The Arcane rune. And in fact, they want to kill maybe. Yules? Just training, but indeed the Yules. He's oh, the Ember. Oh, the swap out as well. Now will allow him to get off the ultimate. He'll tell it goes around, but Mammon Y will pay for his sins and will die. Go be chasing. Can they chase this? There's your fish ship. It's going to be on the right side of it. I don't think he could use to die. Maybe with Samael. One spirit, two spirit. Hasn't got the slider fist off cooldown again. And in fact, Samael might have to the mark. And Samael needs to be careful. Universe. Oh no! The Chrono doesn't catch anyone. It will force LG to box the point. Sada coming in with a man of wolves. He's trying to fight this one out. They've lost Samael. Here's Sada hitting back hard. He will pick up the kill there. On to PPD. And now fear, all alone, deep in enemy territory, looks like EG, got a little bit too aggressive and Sylar now with a double kill, Sylar on his way back into the game. And that's Blink on RTK. This is big and suddenly look at Sylar, second in the net worth. It's just so uncharacteristic that he lost at the start. Very, very uncharacteristic for EG to make that kind of deep dive. Normally they're very controlled as a team and they don't overextend. And Surprisingly, they just took the fight after Universe uh, missed the Chrono. It was just such a deep dive from, yeah. from Samael. We saw him use multiple spirits to just continue to dive deeper and deeper, and then he just had no way to get himself out. And, and he was out of mana, didn't have a, the cooldown available on Slider Fist being level 1. It's got that really, really long cooldown, so he couldn't jump in and get a Chains catch. A part of it is his team unable to keep up with the speed. I mean, it's yeah. sure, if, if you make the deep dive and the rest of your team is there, that's great, but... You know, RTC Arte was a bit far away, and the poor Witch Doctor was just kind of walking in and out of the fight, just died to the Terror Blade. And suddenly that's a Mantis style. I think this is, if you're easy, this is scary. 
that the TB's been able to do this after what felt like you crushing him in the laning stage. He's he's coming back hard, Sila. Yeah. The other thing is, uh, oh, did you see? It looks like he he'll die here. Chronosphere is not available, but the man is moving fast and he'll just keep the uh, oh, Okay, unlucky there, universe. The blink dagger and the RTK now also give them a fairly reliable method to catch the Ember. Previously, you just had a fissure from fog, but now you could even add the blink echo on top of that, and that should give DDC enough time to walk in and get off a uh, a crippling fair. Whereas before, you know, you have to come in from this awkward angle and hope that Sumail is slow and generally he is extremely fast at escape. And of course, RTK shaker, not something to, to be underestimated. Especially once he has got that blink out at his disposal, which he has at the moment. Yep. You can expect this man to make the big plays. Not only that, once you get the blink, you do free up farm for the rest of the team. And the rest of the team can benefit from farm. Not just Silo, not just Zeus, you know. Last game we saw the Night Stalker picking up the uh, eggs. Venge, obviously, if he gets eggs, that would be great for her. Ooh. Can they get to the pit in time? I don't know if they can. I think it looks like they're just going to have to let this one go. EG taking this at uh, too much weight. Yep. Over Ray and uh, yeah, on top of the, the Blink Desso, he is going to have that Aegis out or so he's going to be fine. One yeah. thing that interests me as well, just look at the vision from the Radiant with their warding and with the TA traps. They've got a, a very many, most of the key choke points. They're going to see the movements of LGD pretty clearly. Yeah, and that will inherently limit the, the space that the Terra Blake can farm in. If you're in a jungle and you, a trap just randomly pops, you know, you just have to run. So, Silar, despite all of that, despite the early deaths, has, you know, Made us come back, but let's not kid ourselves. It's top of the CS now. Top it's of the still, CS. Though, let's not kid ourselves. The LG is very far behind, despite I the fact. Know, I don't know. I mean, overall, but it's a terrible thing. Yeah. I mean, the net worth yeah, as well as the CS show, like one story. The other, the story I'm seeing is that EG gets to walk around the map. Okay, there's your crowd out from Universe coming in just in time to cancel the TP. Man, he is so dead. Uh, you can wand and maybe echo, but nah, he's nice gone. Yeah, yeah the, the map is EG's. They, they get to farm where they want to farm. They get to do Roshan whenever. They get to, you know, group up and fight if they want to. So that means if EG wants to take this game late, they can. If they want to go gank and push, they can. It's just really hard to win a game of Dota when you don't dictate the tempo or how the game is meant to be played. Well, bottom line, looking for some and DDC with this invis. It could be the ticket to get the kill. Gets it through before any kind of playing goes. Okay. Okay. Bam. Maybe. Says that kills mine. We'll put the thunder goes wrap for it, but understand you want that amber dead. You don't want to leave any risk of him getting yes. out at the end of the silence. So fair play to the Zeus there. And at the same time, either they're gonna look for a tier two with the metamorphosis, the Kudra image. Bam! Lucky. That's, that's a terrible aid. Yeah, very lucky invis being uh, picked up by DDC and you don't expect the Ember Spirit to die randomly in the mid game, but that's that's one way to get it. Right, we're going to send PPD back now, just in case Sela continues to push. And he won't. Send the uh, illusions in. 3.1k gold. I mean, what's the TB go for next? Is it going to be the Scardi next? That's generally what he goes for. So, uh, is there any other big item that he should be going for. Maybe he'll pick up a little bit of physical survivability against the, the Chrono as well as the TA. So maybe a Talisman of Evasion wouldn't do that. And then uh, go back for the Scotty. We'll see. Let's we'll see what it decides to tank up with. We are seeing EG 22 minutes in on uh, on PPD Witch Doctor. How's he doing on the Agonims? He, he did just pick up, I think, the set. No, wait, sorry. I just see someone was building an axe. His progression was with the axe. It was... I saw an ogre. It was, uh, his, sorry, universe. Yeah, the ogre just picked up the ogre. D uh, DDC. DDC. Yeah, DDC. Okay, so he's still close, yeah. Point booster. Br he's very close there. He's still got yeah. 750 on top, so... That's going to come out Ooh. really, surely. And a good TA player just randomly gets that. They traps around the map, saw the smoke. And LGD is thinking that they're doing a, something smart with a smoke gank, but they're not going to find anybody. And of course, this is going to be something once DD, uh, they've got the Axe gem on the Night Stalker, uh, the TA trap's not going to be an issue because you can clear the area before the smoke, and it's going to be a bit easier for LGC to get those pickups. But it does rely on the Night Stalker finishing those two items, the yep. Axe and the gem. Again, there will be a stage of this game where LGD is very, very good at holding the high ground. Oh, hurry up. And running over oh. the entire team. Is yeah, it gonna there's going to be a Blink 4 for Universe, and they'll take it down. It didn't have anything on that. Oh, I think a lone TP, so it's all good. 
I'm gonna say if LG could survive till Aghanim's on Night Stalker, the zoo should be enough to really de-push. And it's gonna be hard for Universe to find a good Chrono where he gets like 3 or 4. Arteezy just tanking up in the front line, he has the Asia, so he's not too afraid. I'm playing very much on the edge of his life there, as you said. And you had the back up. Result being committed. <laughs> I mean, they all just popped his Aegis, so it's not the biggest deal. Yeah. But yeah, now, you know, contrary to what I said earlier, it seems like LG is at least grabbing a foothold into this map. Silar has yeah, been occupied into the bottom jungle, they're farming, they're split pushing. At least they're dictating uh, certain areas of the map and they could play Dota there. I think it's definitely impressive stuff from Silar. I mean, you can't be kind of going into game good spirits if you die four times in the first six minutes. That, that's going to be a bit of a blow to you. Yeah, but he's he's kept his composition. As I said, ever since that six-minute mark, he hasn't died again. He's just been mentally safe, like, and, and he's just been keeping his head in the game. Like oh, sometimes he's gone tilt, but that's Silo. Nah. There's no tilting this man. And if it is indeed that Scott, he's, he's closing in on the money for it as well. Just just over one thousand. That'll be the Scardy done and suddenly. TB is not only going to be ripping through your towers, but he's also going to be rather hard for you to burst down. Uh oh, DDC. DDC might get caught out by the man with his invis. They'll drop the death ward for this one. They want the kill and they'll get it. Universe picking up the gold, the glory for that one. And uh, uh, that's going to put him very close to his own Agadims. Just under 500 and, and Universe will have the Axe Chrono. The nice thing about the Axe Chrono is that, apart from the duration, the, the cooldown gets much lower and yeah. the fact that you get much tankier. And also, it does set you up for the refresher down the road, uh, given the mana it does give you. Uh, the Panta Winter Faces Void build, which he literally tells me every time he sees a Faces Void being played on television, and it's like, okay guys, I go, Shiva's going on television? Or, I mean... <laughs> I'm I'm in the modern era where every time I see a monitor, that's my television. <laughs> but uh, oh, ROTK, ROTK, uh, swap. Yeah, out uh, you guys. Um, I'll take this one, says MMY, and he certainly will. Oh, with the fish and the magic missile, maybe they can save MMY as well. So now he's there. Yeah. Ah, uh, he's gone. One more touch, and I get it. Out. Okay. With the stars, the universe, the mail, we oh, get everything. He gets it out. Samir with the Jukes! He's gone! So just the Venge dying there. Now would you be unable to find anything in return with that jump echo slap? Samir this time playing a safe wow, as he's okay. to. Oh, Jay's onto Sila! Jumping as well! There's Jakar! Oh, can they do that? Get it! There's gonna be Sila down! RTT in universe, looking for more the Desto coming through onto the air, shaking up, get the trap slow. Slide of fist into our universe, jumps in. RTZ as well, they'll give themselves RTK. Back to the tower, EG. Proving to still be the dominant forces, forcing these fights and, and showing us that Sila isn't yet at that point where he can just stand at the front and, and soak it all in. He can exactly. still crumble. Just the fact that you just miss one Nuger. One second to kill Universe. Maybe trying to stay relatively far back. He does have the Aether Lens, so it makes defense much easier. But no! He got, he got yeah. time dilation. Yeah, Universe just jumped in for the time dilation, knowing that without the Zeus, it's yep. very hard for them to hold off this push. That's a tower. Time dilation, boys. And you can see that maybe he's constantly arcing. Oh, he didn't quite catch the Zeus then, yeah. unfortunately. Cancelling the blink. Uh, th these Raxxas are just falling. Uh, RTK's back. Fish on top. Oh, it's easy getting it. Oh, that's a part of the BKP now. He's gonna just jump over the fight. Boy, there's a Zeus there. RTZ! Double kill! It's short! It's two weeks! Double kill! It has no fear! RTZ coming in with big ass balls! And he's looking for more. RTK! Well, it's gonna be the tag team. Arto gets out, tags his boy Samael in, and bam! Five down on LGD. RTZ trusting in fear there with the Sorin, going in on the lowest of health with his BKB. A bit of a madman, but it pays off. What a performance from RTZ. I mean, that looked like perfect calculation to me. Just knew that he was absolutely fine, and like you said, just having the boss go in like that against a Zeus. A Terror Blade, no worries in the world, and that's going to be two sets of racks. LGD obviously not calling the GG yet, but the writing's on the wall, man. The third set of racks is going down. They have one fight left in them. 
Can they get some arc lightning? Can they just defend? They will have the Echo Slam available. They need this big Wombo combo. Tombstone's gonna be dropped, EG. Ready to try and hang around. They're gonna play it safe though, maybe. Oh. Jumping in fear. Oh, oh mana. So Mayo gets the change up onto DGC, but looks like EG. They, they are going to respect the fighting power of LGD for now, but two sets of racks. Huge fight from EG and a huge play is there from the team. And Look at that network. Alright, man. If, if LG somehow holds this and make a miraculous comeback, we're going to have to uh, be in a long haul. Uh, yes, it's uh, worth noting that half the crowd here, has, uh, I think the game's over. Has game over. Half the crowd has, has given up, they've, they've already walked up to the stage, they've, they've gone over to the Russian casting panel to get their signatures. I they think this is over. I think it's uh, more surprising to not see the whole crowd standing up to think this game is over because... Boy, well, if I'm not casting, I'm also I mean, <laughs> getting up to uh, get one of those signatures myself. I, I, I can't wait to get, get signatures from the Russian boys. But uh, no, this is still it's still very much on. LGD aren't tapping out. And LGD, if they can turn this at one big Echo Sam from RTK, could set something big up. But we were just seeing how far EG are ahead after that last fight. EG are certainly very, very close to being able to take themselves into the finals. Of course, they will be going up against, or well, the winner of this game will go up against, winner of Alliance, winner of Alliance and Liquid. Yep. And that's going to be on later today. That series, I mean, this series has been pretty, pretty intense. But that series, I think it's going to be as intense, maybe even more. Is LGD waiting to finish a certain item that could have turned the time? I think they're, the just, they're waiting for the chance to, to just have that jump. Oh, maybe. maybe versus the jumper, maybe with the Eels, but RTG popping the BKB. Ready to go for it, maybe gets forced back. There's oh, the no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Two down without buyback. Death Lord gets laid into MMY. Three are dead on LGD. And that will be the space for EG to go for the finish. RTG does it. GG is called. We have your first finalist, EG, as they take down LGD in the semis. They destroyed Vega in the quarters, and these guys, they may have had a, not the smoothest of runs in the green stages, but in these playoffs, EG looking to be on top four. They absolutely did. The only game they dropped so far is the game against Silas Markling, which is Silas Markling, which you can't blame, and here we have it, the music's coming out.